Hello everyone. In this video, I'm gonna go over um, how to set up APN settings for um, the Novotel Mifi 7000. And this is the one and a half on my hands. Uh, make sure that you have enough battery power to go through the whole process. And um, the first step we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna insert the SIM card from any carrier. I'm gonna show you AT&T and T-Mobile. We're gonna go over these two examples. And then um, then we're gonna connect the device with the computer. And then we're gonna proceed with uh, adding the APN settings on the computer. But first, we I'm assuming that you guys know how to insert a SIM card into the device. We're gonna start with AT&T settings first. So make sure that you properly insert the SIM card into the slide. And right away we have AT&T. It still is not functional. We still have to go over the couple settings, make sure it's properly working. Then um, after we insert the SIM card, we're gonna go over and, and find the Wi-Fi name and the password. And this uh, this is the one we have for this device. So now we're gonna go over the computer. And uh, we find all the wireless um, networks. I found this one right here, which is 7708. Yep, that's the one. Okay. Go over the computer, select the network from the device. So I'm waiting a couple of seconds until it requests a password that I already have in here. It's showing the password. So still trying to connect. Let's try one more time. Let's hit cancel. Let's find the device one more time. Okay, now I got the password request. And I got here 87742C2F. That's the password from this device. <clears throat> okay, now I'm connected to the device. Still, internet is not working because I still need to add the, the APN settings. So first step, uh, we're going into settings. So it's requesting an admin password. The admin password is gonna be the same as uh, the Wi-Fi password. So I'm gonna type this password into the admin password request. Eight seven seven four two C two F. All right, so we in right now. So um, on the settings, I have different choices, um, which is all the settings for the Wi-Fi hotspot. If you want to set up your network, change your name on your Wi-Fi name. But we're going directly to mobile. <clears throat> um, on mobile, we found here advanced settings, and that's where the we need, we need to change the APN settings. That's the, the changes. I think this device is being default uh, for a Canadian uh, network. And um, <clears throat> yeah, we don't mess with down the top. We're gonna leave this automatically so it will connect to either GSM or LTE, uh, depending on your network bands frequencies. And um, okay, so. Um, let's see, let's see what we got here, all the options we have here. Okay. We'll go mobile, advanced settings.
okay the apn settings that we have here it's like i said before it's for a canadian network uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this part right here in this case i have a i have an at&t you guys see here at&t uh, sim card this sim card it's a it's a phone sim card so it has a voice and has a data sim card it has a data feature and a voice also so um i'm gonna put the link where you can find the old uh, apns for for at&t um in this case uh since i have a phone sim card and i have to use this apn settings that you can see here in this website from at&t so i copy this the apn settings go back to the to the apn field replace those and i hit save changes that's all i gotta do make sure that you save changes all right changes have been saved see yeah they're there okay now you notice now that we have on the top we have a h plus so it looks like it's working you know the apn it makes sure oh the device okay it says lost connection here okay i think it's still resetting yeah i can see now that uh the device star it changed to lte now lte plus so um let's let's try um let's try any website or something let's go to youtube yep internet is working now for for at &T. it's just a simple it's just a simple as changing this field right here and uh basically that will basically tell the the uh, the SIM card, where where they need to, how they need to get configured for data. Okay, this was the case that we were using a, a, a phone SIM card. In in another case, if we're using a, a data SIM card only, that the data SIM card is a SIM card that you only use it for data. Um, you cannot make phone calls, just just data. So you have to use these settings right here, APN settings, instead of uh, the iPhone, the phone settings. Um, there's two different APNs, like I said, for AT&T. One for phones, and another one is for, for data only. So in this case, I'm using a, a SIM card for, for a phone, which is, has a voice, it has a data feature. Okay, so basically we have this device working for AT&T. Now we're going to go over AT&T. I'm um, sorry, AT&T, no, T-Mobile. Um, I, I have a t T-Mobile SIM card. So we're going to go ahead and remove AT&T SIM card. And we're going to insert a T-Mobile SIM card. We have an alert saying that we have a new SIM card. Okay. For T-Mobile, since this device is very similar to the original carrier, uh, the the vans, the frequencies, um, the Canadian company and, and T-Mobile, they're similar. They use similar bands. So this, uh, the device will automatically configure itself. You see on the top it says L LTE plus. So there's no need to go and change APN because it's already it's already compatible. Uh, frequencies are very very similar. But I'm gonna show you how to go and get the APN in case that you have some any device similar to this one that's not compatible with a Canadian um, network and you're using a a, a T-Mobile SIM card. So we're gonna go ahead and go out. Go back in to the settings. Once you get into the settings, remember 
if you access the settings for the first time, it's going to ask you um, the the admin password, which is the same as a as a Wi-Fi password. It's right here. So you have to use the same password than this one to access the settings. So um, on the settings on the screen, remember to go to mobile and then go to advanced settings. We still have right now the the APN settings for for AT and T. So now we're gonna go to this website which is at and website. I'm gonna post this link at the bottom of the video so you guys can find the, the, the information here on this video. So basically, um, we're gonna we're gonna only copy the, this little part right here which says APN for T-Mobile. It's called, it's fast, dot T-Mobile.com. So we copy that into the settings. Click save changes right here at the bottom. You only can use this in case that you have any issue with T-Mobile, um, with a T-Mobile SIM card. Um, okay. I think the device will take a, uh, maybe a minute to reset the settings. Still showing LTE Plus. The LTE Plus is gone. So I think it's uh, resetting back. Let's give it one second. Okay. The LTE Plus is back. So we're going to go ahead and test uh, the internet. Let's try to hit a video. Let's try to hit this video. Yeah. The internet is working. So, internet's working. So, uh, hopefully, I hope you guys find this uh, video helpful for your uh, setting up this device. It's very simple to set up. It's just to have you need to know the steps to get a get it working for AT and T and or T Mobile. If you if you happens to have a, a SIM card for like uh, Cricket or any other network that is a GSM network. Um, you just have to Google, go to Google and, and, and type, uh, for example, Cricket uh, APN, and then just find uh, that little. Uh, let's, let's go this one here one more time. Let's go to. Let's go to Google. Let's say you have a um, a SIM card for from Cricket, and you have a, you need to find out the, the APNs. Um, just call Google and uh, Google Cricket APN and um, as you can just access let me see this one here you got the uh, you get the information yeah uh, it will give you the information so basically um, for um, the field that says APN just grab this uh, whatever is after the settings and just copy that and put it into the into the APN field right here and hit save. So whatever is your network, just have to find out what is the APN settings for your network. So uh, leave us any comments if you have, if you wanna know anything, anything more about this device, uh, we'd, be, uh, we'd be very, very, very uh, pleased to, to provide any more information. Um, well, thank you for your time.